Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to God. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. And um, I hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Hallelujah. And today, we're on... Proverbs chapter 28, the law of God makes sense. Before we do that, I sure hope you all have given your life to Christ Jesus. I hope that you are saved, you have gone down in water, and you have given your life to Christ Jesus, meaning you're striving for holiness, you're a new being in Christ. And um, every day is a day of repentance, right? A daily day of repentance, because we know we're in these fleshly bodies. And these fleshly bodies are going to war against the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you're seeking the Lord's face every day. And I hope you're reading your Bible and going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to him so you can hear from him. So he can teach you the word of God. And not only that, you want the personal relationship with the Father. He loves us all so very much. He has no respect to persons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With that being said, to God be all the glory. I tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. Let us say a prayer. Hallelujah. For children of all ages. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for all this day. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for our family members that you give us to love us, our parents and our siblings. And Father, we love you. And thank you for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. And we love you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go right into our reading. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 28, the law of God makes sense. Wicked people run away when no one chases them. But those who live right are as brave as lions. In time of civil war, there are many leaders. But a sensible leader restores law and order. When someone poor takes over and mistreats the poor, it's like a heavy rain destroying the crops. Lawbreakers praise criminals, but law-abiding citizens always oppose them. Criminals don't know what justice means, but all who respect the Lord understand it completely. It's better to be poor and live right than to be rich and dishonest. It makes good sense to obey the law of God, but you disgrace your parents if you make friends with worthless nobodies. If you make money by charging high interest rates, you will lose it all to someone who cares for the poor. God cannot stand the prayers of anyone who disobeys his law. By leading good people to sin, you dig a pit for yourself. But all who live right will have a bright future. The rich think highly of themselves, but anyone poor and sensible sees right through them. When an honest person wins, it's time to celebrate. When crooks are in control, it's time to hide. <laughs> it's best to hide. If you don't confess your sins, you will be a failure. But God will be merciful if you confess your sins and give them up. The Lord blesses everyone who is afraid to do evil. But if you are cruel, you will end up in trouble. A ruler who mistreats the poor is like a roaring lion or a bear hunting for food. A heartless leader is a fool. But anyone who refuses to get rich by cheating others will live a long time. Don't give help to murderers. Make them stay on the run for as long as they live. Honestly will keep, honesty will keep you safe, but everyone who is crooked will suddenly fall. Work hard and you will have a lot of food. Waste time and you will have a lot of trouble. God blesses his loyal people, but punishes all who want to get rich quick. It isn't right to be unfair, but some people can be bribed with only a piece of bread. Don't be selfish and eager to get rich. You will end up worse off than you can imagine. Honest correction is appreciated more than flattery. If you cheat your parents and you don't think it's wrong, you are a common thief. Selfish people cause trouble, but you will live a full life if you trust the Lord. Only fools will trust what they, what they alone think. But if you live by wisdom, you will do all right. Giving to the poor will keep you from poverty. But if you close your eyes to their needs, everyone will curse you. When crooks are in control, everyone tries to hide. But when they lose power, good people are everywhere. Amen. God's will and tomorrow will be on Proverbs chapter 29. Use good sense.
Please tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. And he has no respect to our persons. Okay? So who, what are you waiting for? If you haven't given your life to Christ, what are you waiting for? Only Jesus died for our sins and none other. Okay? I love you all to love the Lord and Father God loves you more. Remember, Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is not something up for debate. That is not something up for discussion. It is something that we all must do. Please do it. I love you all to love the Lord, and that's why I tell you the truth, and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day, chosen of all ages, youngest and oldest alike. God bless you. Bye-bye.